seven days away from a potential Teamster strike, like 300,000 UPS workers. Um, the UAW is, is starting to get into in negotiations with the automakers uh, over uh, electric vehicles. Of course, the the uh, the car makers uh, want to make that uh, you know some way non-union that they're producing. It's a different type of car, so we don't need union workers or whatever it is. Um, here is a clip uh, from Norwood, Massachusetts, a UPS facility where, and we're starting to see this. They're doing like, you know, uh, mock strikes, practice strikes. Uh, here are the UPS work workers in um, Local 25 basically staging a tiny tiny work action which is a of course a shot across the bow check this out uh this is apparently in the morning there is a pre-work uh, communication meeting last friday i mean presumably uh there i don't know if the do we know specifically if they were if the ups official was basically talking about the potential for a strike or not but not sure about that i can i can look into that but not sure but i, I check this out this is they're sending a signal a message here They've all got their backs. Checking their phones. Yeah. They got their backs to the uh, management. I mean, what an imagine like being on this job. What an educational <laughs> moment this is. Yeah, I love the propaganda value for us to play it. Yep. Look what we can do. disrespecting your boss for a cause honestly team bonding we gotta start doing this in the morning <laughs> yeah you guys are never on your phone during the show <laughs> yeah i'm gonna start getting my phone out i mean that's a that's a labor action that's a when we do that that's a labor action uh, Sam. meanwhile in um in la uh central la area mcdonald's workers um, have been dealing with the extreme temperatures in their restaurant. I mean, you, if you ever work uh, on a um, oh man on a grill or near a fry cooker, I've in been general here. the heat coming off it is pretty strong. But in in For weather like this, it's a nightmare. Horrible. And uh, check this out. That's yeah. so cool. And I mean, they're doing that like f very clearly for in, like, for themselves, obviously, but that will have a benefit for customers because I'll say as like a grill guy who's been uh, working at a McDonald's when the AC's gone out, you don't want McDonald's workers sweating over the grill. Oh, God, Or sweating no. over, like it's it, it could gross back there fast. It's so hot um, and people sweat. I <laughs> The amount of sweating I did working on a grill for McDonald's, like people would be really grossed out by it. You <laughs> need to have air conditioning matt's like i want this to be clear i sweat so much i <laughs> sweat into your food i remember <laughs> those days as like a junior in high school and working a summer at mcdonald's in bismarck and just looking over at, at, like it's horrible and and like i think about that every time i would if like to this day you go into a fast food place and it doesn't have the ac working it they should shut down until oh, they totally. fix that yep yeah uh, meanwhile, again, uh, strikes going on uh, this very day. SAG-AFTRA and the Writers Guild um, the, uh, are uh, are picketing. Um, they've wrapped up in the East Coast. They're starting any uh, in an hour, I think, in the uh, West Coast. Um, I saw a um, I, I saw I think on. Uh, on Exeter or whatever we're calling it these days, um, I saw a comment uh, specifically that somebody sent me from Bob about Bob's Burgers, and the thing that 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 and, and I I really it's very strange. I I, I tweeted from the uh, the picket lines the other day, and just attracted all of these weird right wing accounts out of the blue 
almost saying very similar things, anti-union stuff. And it made me start to think, I wonder if these studios are paying, uh, they've got somebody's list and they're paying uh, people for this. I, I mean, you know. I thought you were about to say just more anti-Semitism because that's what happened. No, no, that's what now. was also really odd about it uh, uh, because it was a break in the enormous <laughs> amounts of anti-Semitism I got, which made me suspicious. Like, yeah, wait a right. second. What's wrong here? <laughs> well, I'm getting all this critique and uh, like no one's calling me a Jew. That's weird. <laughs> um, and, um, but I went and looked at the accounts and they all sort of like, it, 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 it it, look, the, there are people who uh, get hired to pay, I mean, to get paid to send out messages. I mean, and they're not just bots. They're, they're real uh, accounts. Um, but the interesting thing is this is like, you know, and I've seen this many times where people are saying like, uh, you're a standard writer, let's say on a show. And I'm no longer a member of the WGA and I was never a uh, staff writer gets paid something like uh, the minimum, I think, is uh, maybe 4,500, maybe 7,500 I can't I, on a network show. The number of writers who get staffed on a network show relative to the other 11,000 people in the union is, 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 is tiny. Um, the problem is that, you know, mo much of the business has gone on to streaming and this and that. And then the ability to sort of like work for years and years as a staff writer is so minimal. It is, it's very much a business where you make a, a lot of money in a shorter period of, a short period of time, and then you go long periods without making any money. And then you make a lot of money in a short period of time. That, that is the nature of acting and writing for the overwhelming majority of, of people in these unions. 160,000 uh, members of, of SAG, overwhelmingly, it is not the, the people that you, the names you recognize who are, uh, this strike is about. I mean, the irony is that, that people don't seem to understand is that those people who are making a ton of money in this business, and there are some, without a doubt, actors who make a ton of money, uh, writers who make a ton of money. There are some, if you get lucky, you're on a show for 15 years or 10 years or, or five years even, uh, it can be uh, lucrative. Not as much if you're on a streaming show, frankly, uh, but, but nevertheless, those people are supporting the strike. Those are the people who the union does not really provide much for them at this point in their career. The union provided for them when they were in the early stages of their career where they were just getting by and maybe would make 25 grand a year and qualify for, you know, health insurance, not free, but, but really low cost, relatively speaking, um, where they would be protected in that. Uh, you, you're not allowed to be, you know, forced to audition 10 times, although they, they have really, uh, the producers have really sort of abused that it seems to me, but, uh, but nevertheless, the it is the people who are making a ton of money in these industries they had no reason to strike except for solidarity and that's the thing that people don't seem to understand to the extent that may you know th th this is legitimate criticism people people who are making seven grand a week on a consistent basis they're not the ones who are driving the strike they only have stuff to lose it is the it is it is the tens of thousands of others in these two unions that don't get that amount of money who barely squeak by yeah. um who um and 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 let's be honest here like if if you don't have 500 uh, actors willing to go unpaid to audition sometimes multiple times for uh, these shows you're going to get, you're not going to find that one actor. That one actor is the one who makes the money, but everybody puts their labor in to get that one actor there. I mean, that's the dynamic. It's a weird dynamic in that industry. It's so interesting too, because I was, you know, I saw Jennifer Garner, like famous actress posted some long thing in support and solidarity with SAG-AFTRA. 
And I just was curious, so I clicked on the comments and most of them, I mean, this is on Instagram, but most of them were like, you know, this hurts other workers. My husband works on lighting. My hu And they all seem to your point, like pretty, uh, I'm sure in many instances, those are some of people's like real experiences and stuff. But it's interesting how, like, because she or other famous rich actors speak out, that's used against them. When in fact, but the fact is that they're using their platform to get she the word out about uh, after a minimum exactly on, uh, on yeah. these, uh, shows and she's, it's, it's and like she, the, her career was all you know has has played out she's getting residuals because uh you know she got in uh, to this industry at a time where the it hadn't right. changed she's she's got everything to lose and nothing to gain in that situation totally and supporting yeah. people who are just as bad off uh through this strike as those other things, but you're also seeing like a Yahtzee, the, um, you know, the stage hands in, in, uh, um, are, 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 uh, voted to authorize a strike. I I'm very suspect. Um, you know, w where is their comments about the $200 billion that, uh, these, well, CEOs they averted the strike. I just want to make, uh, oh, they did. The, yeah. They, right. the, the Broadway, uh, Broadway ended up, uh, coming to an agreement with them after they threatened. So good for, good for the, whatever the Broadway producing, um, I, no, not IATSE, the union, but like even the, the, the management or whatever, that they were more, they were much more acquiescent to what IATSE was asking for. So I think maybe in part because they're watching, uh, they're, they're seeing this go on. They're seeing people being serious about this. Stuff. And like something like Broadway has much less uh, like t uh, margin for error financially yep. if there was to be a work stoppage. Yep, that's a good point, too. Oh, I also want to uh, just shout out uh, A24, the uh, studio, which is yes. one of the few that like, I, I don't watch a lot of movies, but I like, I love horror movies. So I like A24 and apparently they're able to continue production because they accepted the uh, union demands, which love to see that. Biggest, I think like what independent film uh, studio in the country and also like, don't miss anything that A24 I, puts out. I see out. pretty much anything, yeah. Highest quality, you know, all, all the time. If basically. I see a horror trailer, I'm not shocked that I, that looks interesting. I'm not shocked to see a24 at the end of it yep